morning and welcome back to the apocalypse to the treasure hunt and to riverside we have what what could be considered a plan here for today is it a good plan i don't know so we're gonna head over to the two construction sites on riverside well ideally we hit one construction site to find the thing and don't even have to go to the second one wouldn't that be fantastic um then we wanna do two more things before we leave the town. Uh, we wanna hit up the grocery store, stock up on some easy food supplies, and we wanna hit up the construction on uh, the construction site, the junkyard, um, to get a little bit metalworking experience. It's like a nice place where you have a bunch of um, car racks for easy disassembly. In one spot where you can grind a little bit metal with the king and spear. So yeah, that's that's the plan. Okay, and it's on the ground there. Definitely something on the ground there. A little bit um, can we do that uh, way here? With my approach to this. Thankfully, nobody's moving fast. Uh, there's a lot of people moving. Or former people, I have to say. Uh, you know what? We trained our aiming skill for a reason, and this is the reason. Now I did already pack the um, propane tanks and the, the welding torches and masks, so all the metalworking gear in the backpack. The smasher. Smashing. Well that was that was easy. It's not even 10 a.m. And we we got Riverside done. Smash it, I hardly know where. Um, anyway. Now the question is, do we go for the food first or do we go for the propane first? I think... Since I loaded the, the car up with propane, I think we're gonna go for the... For the I almost wanna say construction site. No, um... Scrapyard... First. Was that this is on the other end of town? Yep. Uh, I think we're gonna take take the back road here. Yeah. Not go through the main shopping area. Actually, taking the the real back road. Uh, actually, I'm not sure where I have to make a turn here. Is this? Yeah, this would bring me in at the other construction site. Don't really care about it. Lee station, yeah. Maybe another time. Oh, the Optimus Prime thing. Game's taunting me with all the nice cars. It's um. 
few more zombies in this area than I would have liked. There's um, a few more working cars in the scrapyard that I would have liked. I was hoping. I was hoping mostly for car wrecks. Okay. <clears throat> Get out. That's smashing. Alright, I think we go on. More pistol here. Probably shoot for the fence here. Yeah. Keep my back clear. And try to not hit my own car. I'm a little bit concerned about the sound range of this weapon. If there's, if these guys coming in from behind me here. But I don't know how far away they were initially, so they might have been really close. Come on. Oh, he got a fast one. Not a smart one, but a fast one. Still hearing some zombie sounds. Might be somebody sitting next to uh, on that trailer there. Inside. Oh, there's still a, a little bit of a train coming here. Let's take them in. Actually, let's check the, the back here. Okay, no, I guess I was hearing those guys. I don't know. So I could probably easily also dispatch of these slow few zombies with uh, with the axe, right? But I kind of have uh, the hope of maybe getting one more level in level in aiming, level in aiming, eventually. Because well, we're gonna need a lot of firepower in Louisville, I think. That's where the assault rifles and the 556 and all that other good jazz is gonna come in handy. This is, uh, you know, I have to say that they, uh, again, and I'm probably saying that a lot, this advanced trajectory mod, I was very skeptical about using it, but it makes the whole um, gunplay feel much more rewarding. If it actually is that much, like, does this level of precision exactly putting the cursor on, on the head of the zombie, is that going to be required? Maybe I would also hit good shots if I just, you know, I don't know, shoot at the feet.
Probably not getting one shots. Anyway, I think this is reasonably clear. drop a couple of my magazines here to not be completely over encumbered Let's just quickly open the window I'm gonna throw this on the ground and grab all of that. And then we're just gonna go into on a dismantling spree a little bit. Battle work in, we are halfway to level five. I'm not sure, do I have the mod where I can Assemble complete cars, I don't. Which I also don't think I would use it because that's. I will make it too easy, I think. Being limited to car racks, which are in less supply than, than functioning cars, makes a lot of sense, yeah. Here, get to our propane tanks and refill all our torches. The empty propane tank away. Hopefully, left that open. Feeling confident here, using F5 instead of F4 for the speed up now. He's on the ground here. Alright, so that's the propane torches empty again, if I count it correctly. I see it's definitely six more ranks. Can do this again. Only have enough propane for five. Sure, I don't forget this later on. Um, so let me actually also take a quick look here. So yeah, lethal needs metal in five. We can do the windows at four though. I didn't bring the wrench. I'm gonna need some bars. Yeah, but it didn't bring screws. But we can probably pick up the parts for two windows. If we get a little five here, which I'm fairly certain we should get. Alternative would be um, if I really want to get metal working up and don't care too much about the XP, I want to be more efficient with my propane. We're in the Riverside gated community. Dismantle the metal fences there. 
I think um, on a per propane basis, it's going to give me the better result. I think that's all of my propane. Yep. We did have a full propane tank, or rather a propane grill in the backyard. So for the windows I can use that. and extra bags. And let's uh, have a quick look again. So what did I say? For the windows, I'm gonna need three small, two large, five bars. So six for ten. Four large, ten bars. Should have screws and you know, more propane at base. Just load that in. Double checking. Six more, four, ten. All right, cool. Um, what do we need eventually for the bull bar? Three pipes, six sheets, six bars. Yeah, let's um, get a bull bar back ready. Oops, six sheets, six bars. I don't think it's gonna fit in one one backpack. One one sheet's not gonna fit. It's all small. Maybe there's another big one. Yeah, all right, cool. I think we also have some leftover sheets still in the trailer, but for, you know, we, we want to repair the hood probably another time. Whenever it looks a little bit um, gray there, then it's a good sign that, hey, you, you might want to uh, get a little repair going again. Uh, it also means we are kind of full here. I think we leave the little trip to the grocery store for tomorrow. I'm gonna 
completely ignore all this. Barricaded house there. And so I completely ignore the roads. I wasn't going to ignore barricaded houses. I'm more like driving exactly through the middle of town here to spot for any. But I didn't want one that far away from home base. And that close to large amounts of zombies. Um, Yes, you know what? There's too many, too many running zombies here right now for me to comfortably get out. So we can get a get a first look here at the Giga Mart and how it. Let's look at here, zombie-wise. It's not so bad. Yeah, the church parking lot. That's always a little bit crowded. Okay. I'm not sure this is the safest area to do metal work in right now. Didn't see a single large barricaded house here in the neighborhood. That is very sad. Burnt down house across the street? No. Not a single barricaded house. Well, you know what they say. Ask and you shall receive. Come on. A little bit of looting. Looting this is wrong and then I don't want to be right. It's not, it's not that loud that it would attract those guys. I think they're getting stuck there. So I might just ignore those guys. Yeah, I thought so. He looked a little bit like uh, he's running. Yeah, did you see that? Th th those calves? Well trained shins. Side. At least. Ah, oh, they found their way around the fence. Okay, let's just shoot him. So even more barricaded. Front door only has a single barricade though. And of course it's brought, it's locked. What about the bathroom window? Yeah. 
any other takers? Close the window behind me? No. Well, definitely here another zombie, though. Get for, for, for getting high sneaking skill here. All right, the trench axe. What the hell is that? Uh, let's secondary equip another backpack. And grab a little bit of ammo. Uh, you know, I should take in someone else. Anything else in here? This little bathroom. Nothing inside. It's getting late already. Food. None of the canned food that I like to take. We've got people banging on the front door, I think. I have no idea if these weapons are any of any use. I just don't wanna. I've figured out my weapons that we have, uh, the weapons we have at base, and that's good enough for me. I don't even wanna. Worry about more weapons. Oh, but sir. Oh, what a nice neighbor, right? He saw somebody strange moving in the neighbor's house and he immediately comes over to take a look. Responsible fellow. Just gonna lop this loot back down here. Secondary, make it a little bit lighter. Can run faster. Don't don't, ex um, don't get exhausted that much because if you're over encumbered and running, you're gonna drop a lot of exhaustion points. Refill these. Then this is my bag with the tools for the windows, right? Except for the one extra bar. Two extra bars, two extra bars. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Oof. Screws. And the wrench. I think if I just stand here... Yeah, everything's in range. Okay. Should just take the wrench, take the screws. Take the stuff out of the back.
Yeah, Jet. Just a little bit more. Okay. And then left window installed. Takes bloody long time though. It's gonna make me feel so much better about taking taking a sleep in the car. Alright. Get all this stuff back in here. I think grab the propane tank. And that should be exactly enough here to refill these one more time to carry this around okay it's in the trunk I can put this all the way this again so we can put the welder mask away wonderful we somehow have a spare metal bar whatever Actually, on that note, let's just grab the loot that we picked up, throw that all in there. Oh, and the wrench, maybe. Cool. So we have a backpack with the materials we need for the for the bull bar. Enough propane to install it. We just need to get metal working to level 6, which is... Oh, a lot of disassembly we would have to do. Yeah, this is the protection which, um, like a zombie, needs an awful long time to bash through that window and then smash in the actual window and bite you in the, in the driver's seat if you're sleeping in the car. So that's gonna make me feel much safer taking another nap in the middle of the woods oh we also crossed 4,000 kills right so what are we going to do about this What is, uh, hang on. Workers killed Frank and bit me. These bit, but not serious. Need antibiotics just in case. Yeah, it's not serious. A bite's not that bad. Don't go here. Okay. Why not? Oh, Tom's waiting for us here. This was the barricaded house we drove by. Guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm going to gig him out now. Don't fight with Sandra while I'm gone. Looked on my way past the orchard. Who can extend that circle a little bit? Um, yeah, so I think if you really want to do metalworking and get the car fixed up before we get to West Point, the mall, Louisville, which I just think makes a lot of sense, um, then Clearing out zombies in the central area and then taking on the fences around the park here would probably be the fastest, safest, and most propane um, propane preserving way to do it. What I think I'm doing um, in the morning, I'm going to take down one piece of fence here just to see how much XP that gives us, right? 
we need 2800 metal working xp if it's like 100 xp great then it's 28 pieces of fence that's that's reasonable i think you get like eight or ten pieces with, with one torch then we have enough for paint for it if it's 50 i'm gonna think about it if it's less than 50 i'm not even gonna bother then we just have to do it without without getting the bull bar um so yeah and then the other thing is then getting to the gigamart and or potentially just looting a bunch of houses here in the kitchens that would also give us enough food for now though i'm gonna take a nap here see you next time